everyone, it's Gina with Peonies of America. Welcome to my page. If this is the first time you've come on to follow me, I'm so glad to have you here. I'm in Grow Zone 7B in Southern Oklahoma. I have cultivated peonies for over eight years. I have an in-ground garden that I'll share with you uh, later. And then I have an above-ground garden. I have four above-ground boxes that I grow peonies in. I started these three years ago as year, uh, one-year-old plants, tubers, and now they're three years old and they're looking absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna give you a little tour. I'm gonna kick this video off with one of the most beautiful plants I have in this box right here. I grow three different varieties, an early, a mid, and a mid-late. I have been growing these peonies here in these above-ground boxes for three years. I put them in as a year-old plant, and over the years, they have really thrived. Um, I've got a really nice sandy loam, topsoil, and compost blend in these boxes. They have really settled, but the peonies don't seem to mind it right now. I know there'll be a time where I'll have to lift them, and um, but right now, this is a uh, the third year and they are really butted up absolutely gorgeous this is probably a coral charm or a pink hawaiian coral you can see how they're spread out in the bed some of them are down here that have not yet grown up and that's more than likely a mid late variety this is a gorgeous pink hawaiian coral it always does well i did come in late february and put in a uh, a 10 10 10 fertilizer throughout these beds um, and then in early late january um, i just i believe it was my last video um, i came through here before any of the sprouts were even up and i did cover the beds in a light layering of bone meal it is quite windy today um, we just had an inch of rain come through last night and so everything got a really good watering and now we're supposed to warm up a bit, not too much, into the uh, upper 50s and 60s. And um, I just wanted to give you some really close-ups of these gorgeous plants. And how healthy the greenery looks. And for just, just being three years old, they really are uh, tremendously healthy looking. They're putting on a lot of growth down below good color you can definitely tell the different types of varieties just by uh, the leaves uh, the corrugated leaves and the coloring on the tips and in between even the uh, the shape of the leaves are different This one here for sure, uh, the color of the plant compared to this color. Look at the size of these, just absolutely amazing. Even putting on a little bit of color in there. Oh, how exciting. I'll be so excited to show you when, this, when all four of these boxes are in full bloom. I did have some anemones and ranunculus growing in here, but they uh, they don't do too well. But the peonies do great. Okay, and here's an overview of the four boxes. This was the first one I ever put in, and it's got many varieties of peonies in here, and they're coming along just great. Bed number two, this was the first uh, higher one that I put in. And we've got lots of different varieties of peonies in here. Uh, some of them are still not even coming up out of the ground. These are more uh, more than likely a mid-late mid -late, uh, season peony. And they're all intertwined in here. Just absolutely gorgeous. I just wanted to show, oh, this one's got so many stems. More than likely a mid. And of course, I will share them when they start to bloom. You know, there's nothing like a peony in its first bloom of the year. It is just miraculous. This is a pink Hawaiian coral on the corner here, and it is budded up with so many big blooms. Just absolutely gorgeous. I've got a couple lavender plants in these boxes, some gara. 
I have pulled out all the cat mint because it was very evasive and was actually suffocating some of my peony plants. Here's some more, just absolutely gorgeous. Again, these are three years old. Many different varieties and you can tell by the, the forage on there and the, and the, and the leaves, the, uh, many of them are different colors, textures. Here's another one that's totally different. There's one right here. And there's one of the cat mint that I will be getting out of there. And you can see that it is, uh, it, it's kind of uh, kept this one back a little bit. But anyway, that's the tour. I'm excited, I know you are too, because you wanna see these blooms.